are polyatomic acids. And these are the oxy acids. Okay? So oxy acids are all derivatives of the polyatomic ion. Okay? These acids are based on, as we said, the polyatomic ion. So you need to remember Nick the camel ate a clam for supper in Phoenix. You also need to know the variations because there are changes based on the name of the polyatomic ion that we're looking at. Now, naming them follows four simple rules. Okay? One of them, the ATE uh, uh, the ion. Okay? So if we have the polyatomic, the normal polyatomic, okay, we add the IC acid name to it. Okay? Um, we don't use hydro. Hydro is only for binary, um, um, binary acids. For polyatomic acids, we drop the hydro and we just use pretty much the polyatomic and the IC ending if it's the original polyatomic. Now, another one is if we're using the per-8 ion, okay? Meaning, what, 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 mean, what does that mean if we have the per-8 polyatomic? What's happened? More, more oxygen. Exactly. We've added an oxygen to the original polyatomic. Now, the, the name of it is now keeps the per, but we add, we continue with the IC acid. Okay, and we put in whatever polyatomic name in that blank. Okay, another simple rule, the ITE ion produces an OUS ending for the acid. Okay, not the IC like the other one, but it's an OUS, similar to those uh, of the, um, you know, the, the same type of endings that we use for the classic system. Okay, but we're using it now for naming uh, these polyatomic acids, these oxy acids. Now, what kind of polyatomics have the ITE ending? What kind of acid? Uh, sorry, what kind of polyatomic? How, remove how many? Three. Not two. One. Remove one from the original because we're looking at it in terms of the original. Okay, so we've removed one oxygen from the original, so it's an ITE ending. Okay, and the last rule, hypoite ion produces a hypoous acid. Okay, and so here's the hypo. And, we, and the ITE tells us that we've lost an oxygen. But the hypo means that we've lost how many now? Two. We've lost two uh, oxygens from the original polyatomic. Okay? So let's look an at an example here. HNO3, okay? The derivative <coughs> is nitrate, right? So we have the nitrate ion. So according to this rule, the name is not a nitrate nitrate ion because we have hydrogen present okay because we have the hydrogen present with the nitrate ion we call this a nitric acid okay using there so we have the regular original polyatomic ic and we add the word acid to it we have hno no2 this no2 is a variation of nitrate but we've lost an oxygen so what polyatomic is this a derivative of this no2 We've derived it from nitrate, so we lost an oxygen, so it's no longer a nitrate, but it's a nitrite, right? It's a nitrite ion, okay? So the name for the nitrite using the IT ion is no longer, pretty much, we're not using nitrite ion, it's called a nitrous acid, O-U-S ending, okay? Because we've lost the, uh, the oxygen. Now, if we move over HNO4, here, HNO4, the NO4 is a derivative of the nitrate uh, ion, but because we've gained an, uh, an oxygen, it's a pernitrate ion. And a pernitrate ion now, looking at step number two here, becomes a pernitric acid. Okay. And lastly, we've removed up to two oxygens from the original polyatomic of nitrate. Okay, so that's a derivative of, of the uh, nitrate ion, which is really, we're using the hyponitrite ion. And the hyponitrite ion, okay, now we're using the hypoite, so it becomes hyponitrous acid. So those are the four rules that we use when naming polyatomic acids. And these polyatomic acids, more importantly, are known as 
oxy oxy acids. Okay. Now we have acids, which we've looked at. Now we're looking at bases. Naming bases real simple. All bases pretty much are going to include the following polyatomic hydroxide. So we're going to combine our hydroxide, and the hydroxide we looked at has a negative charge. So the hydroxide has the negative charge. So that's the anion, which means it's got some kind of a metal combined to it. So example, NaOH. Okay. The name of this one is sodium hydroxide. Exactly, sodium hydroxide. 